What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Call of the Sea, episode four. We're in the Lady Shannon, the wrecked ship right now, climbing down the ladder because we just started turning on the power. So let's get the power all flipped on, shall we? Because that's what we need to be doing. Power? Last power. Season. Fantastic. Make things easier. I agree. <clears throat> let's get this power on, too. It's already on. Now can we look at this in a better way? Ropes are frayed, and there are strange marks on the wooden floor. Not really. Okay. Well, I tried. At least we can check out the camp now. This is what I wanted to look at originally. That light bulb's out. But it said it was too dark to really see anything. So now hopefully we can see things a little bit better. So we'll go back through. This one looks like it's just been, had been ripped open. The menu is rather limited here. And I know I've clicked on some of these things already. But... <clears throat> Looks like Uncle Iroh from Avatar. But maybe they have more information now that it's like lit up. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Turn that light on. Ooh, nice hat. A handkerchief with the letters EDW embroidered on it. It's stained with blood and black ooze. It's no good. Discarded clothing. It hasn't been worn in a long time. A white fedora. It's really dirty. It is really dirty, isn't it? So what happens when you bring something white on a trip like this, though? It gets dirty. Oh dear. This dog was a certifiable loon. Yesterday the stones danced with my song of the Song Minge Leave Lige. Everything is tuned in this place. There is a treasure in Scott Gorlakapaka. Alright, well Cthulhu's up in this up in this place right now with all these weird these metal talks. Tools are hair raising. All these Doctor weird words. Was certainly well supplied with all kinds of substances. Yeah, this is this is Cthulhu-esque if I've ever seen it. These two fellows seem to get along pretty well. Frank and uh, Teohora singing while working in the workshop. I'm glad you stayed by his side, whoever you are. Frank, I understand what you're saying, but we can't leave Harry here alone. I know you must be thinking I'm only interested in a scoop, but. What would you do if it were your wife who was sick? Would you let her die? I'm staying here to the end. See. Also, we got another little thing back there. Looks like Frank wanted to leave, but I don't know if Harry ever read this letter. Miss Ward, our lives are in grave danger on the island. Look what happened to Dr. DeWitt. The man is going completely bananas. I really think we should get off the island as soon as possible. Mr. Everhart was determined to leave, to leave until he found that organ thing. Do I have your support to convince him? Kind of looked at all that now. Seems like we finished in that area. Let's check out this area next. Got to methodically move through everything, you know. Someone in the expedition was a cook, but I really hope they didn't rely on Harry for it. <laughs> when he lived in the dormitory, the expedition only has five members now. Oh. It interrupted the, her talk. I hate when it does that. I wish it would finish it out and then do that part. But oh well, I, th I guess I, th I thought she was done is the only reason I picked it up. I guess I need to learn. There are only four chairs around the campfire. Yeah, there are. Somebody dipped. Looks like somebody dipped. Can't open that up. Doesn't look like anything's going on here. Okay. What about over here? Can't get back there, I don't think. We did already find the secret object in chapter three, though. Oh, black room. So, uh, is, is this recording? Mm-hmm. Huh, well, shouldn't we be listening to something, Frank? I have assembled and disassembled it. Why? So it should be fixed, Mr. Everhart. I don't know. Maybe it was never meant to play music. Uh, where have you been this whole time? See, I do not. Oh my god. He's got a knife. Get off me, you lunatic. Hold him. Hold him for Christ's sake. Close the door, quick. Well, people be stabbing people up in here now. My god. The 
look at his contorted face. Is this what's going to happen to me? It took four of us to subdue him. Where did he get that strength? Those footprints definitely do not look human. No. Is that what they tied him to? They tied him to that pole? It looks like it. This nature is taken from a distance. What is he doing? Floating rocks? Yeah, the doctor seemed to be whispering to some rocks. Are they floating? Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> I believe Harry visited this exposition when he was looking for answers for my illness. Newburyport TR exhibition coming to Boston by C.D. Ward. Interesting. You got another one of those weird looking mirrors. Goodness me, what a collection of happy news. Strange incident in Massachusetts. The Gardner family vanishes from their Arkham farm by C.D. Ward. Oh my. We're up at Suidum and her wife found dead at high seas. Cults and Rituals, an interview with the inspector John Raymond Lagrasse by C.D. Ward. Ward and Blake News Agency. Sandra D. Ward. Photographic film. Yeah. Okay. Someone here had a green. Some nice one. flowers, very pretty. What will I write? A Pope magazine. I love Chandra Hogarth stories. Tales from the Beyond. Yeah, get some Cthulhu up in here, see I'm telling you. Heard of this Eric Zan fella. Looks like we've kind of explored that tent. Anything going on with these? Tents? Oh, yep, yep, yep. See. Someone took notes about some important dates. Arrived on the island on June thirtieth. On July 1st, set up camp. July 14th, Roy blew up the Wells Hatch. July 24th, we strike camp and move to the beach. July 14th, last entry in the Lady Shannon ship log. Same day. Interesting. It is the same day. They're not wrong. Did he take some amulets from the other campsite? Or did he carve some more? Yeah, I've already seen that one. Do you have anything in your tent? That wouldn't appear to be the case. Okay. <clears throat> well, it looks like we kind of looked at most of what's going on through here. Well, we can't go behind these tents, though. Don't think there's anything going on behind them, though. Alright. See much of anything through here. The lights are on, though, which is nice. We do have a staircase that we can go up as well as there's another path, as well as more of the ship to explore. So, like, we're not we're not nearly done, it doesn't seem. Interesting that there's just this slab here, nothing on it. Nothing inside that tent. All right, well, is there even a bedroll in that tent? Wait, what the heck are those blue lights back there? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing. Tide levels. I hope you didn't borrow this slide projector from the University of Denver, old pal. Okay, fills up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know. One equals seven. 2 equals 1, 3 equals 2. Okay, interesting. Oh, this is the different. Well, the different tide levels are different. That's what those equal. Are we not going to write those down? What the? Hello? Okay. Alright. Very interesting. That's not creepy at all. That son of a... whatever. DeWitt stabbed Frank. Luckily, he was just a flesh wound. It's a good thing that he held me back or I would have plunged that nut... Or plugged that nutcase like the rabid dog that he is. Jesus, what am I saying? I've never seen Harry so angry. Right? Harry, what's going on, my dude? 
How can someone build something like this out of stone? Section C basalt structure, huge stone pipe organ, wave pushes through carved stone tubes, creating different sounds. You always did have a good ear, Harry. Been studying the structure for the last few days. The tones it emits change consistently with the tides. Man, I wish you'd been writing some of the stuff down. But here, oh, here we go. Harry tried to replicate the well ritual by tweaking his strange optical device, staining the lens with black ooze. I don't think he ever achieved it, but I have. What I saw through that lens left me speechless. I get the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. I lost consciousness inside that well and got covered in the black ooze, but I didn't drown. Instead, I had the strange dream. I mean, it was a dream, wasn't it? Or a vision, maybe. I'm still not sure. Couldn't control my own body, and I jumped off a cliff and dived into the sea. I woke up in the dead of the night on the black beach, but I can't remember how I got here. I just got fuzzy memories, like a dream. An enormous shipwreck cast its shadow over the black sand on the beach. It looks like the lights are shining through the cracks in the tull. A terrible storm is approaching, and out on the reefs, the lightning seems to reveal some strange figures. Is this a product of my imagination? Dr. DeWitt's mind was getting worse, and he tried to stab Frank. The doctor seemed to be possessed by something that gave him incredible strength. The rest of the expedition had to subdue him and tie him to a pole. So after several days of descending further into madness, the doctor disappeared in the dead of night. His restraints were torn apart, and there were strange footprints in the sand nearby. The ship had several colossal glaciers on its side, unusual in shape. It should have sunk in the ocean outright, but how did it end up ashore? The ship is completely abandoned. What happened to its crew? The members of the expedition used whatever they could find inside the beach ship to build another campsite on this black lava beach. Harry found another unknown structure built by a previous civilization. He keeps searching for answers even as they wait for help to arrive. The tide, tidal organ emits musical tones when the water pushes air through its ears. Interesting. Rocks stained with black ooze. Looks like the prototype of something. Yeah, it's moving. That's creepy. What kind of doodad is this? So this will take me forever to figure well out. I expected no less from you, old pal. <laughs> Music will take me forever to figure out, just so you know. Wow, look at the size of these stones. South Pacific Expeditions, megalithic basalt stones. Hmm, these symbols are linked to the piano keys. Okay. Can I reset this anyway? I can, but not really. I don't. I need to hit every button. Okay, so I hit every button. We got all the megahertz now. So if I do one, two, Three, four, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know if there's more. I'm sure there's more to that, but I'm not quite sure what at the moment. It's just showing me the, the, the megahertz levels. Which is very interesting. Let's head up here, shall we? Your voices again. Stone tablet. Sometimes I still doubt whether this isn't just some ghastly dream. Right? Oh, do the lightning again. I want to look out. Can't do anything with that at the moment. Huh. Goes deep. It's curious, but it's the first time since I got sick that I feel useful. Harry is depending on me and not the other way around. What odd structure. It doesn't look like a building, though. It's an organ. What odd structure. It doesn't look like a building, though. Yeah, it's the organ they were talking about. Huh. 
see it goes deeper, but like, I don't know exactly how I would get over there. We still got more to explore, though. Let's go check out that path behind the ship, and then we'll go check out through the ship, I guess. Plenty to check out. Yes, creaking ship. I hear you. I hear you. I know. Not having a good time. I understand the feels. Looks like someone set up over here as well. Some kind of improvised workshop. This must be the highest part of the island. And that diamond shape again. How, s How strange. You made it work, Harry. Now it's my turn. Good morning, crew. Sorry for the revel this morning. I didn't expect to wake all of you up with that noise from that awful organ. The good news is the organ revealed the entrance to a temple. The bad news is the temple is on a mountaintop, so I hope you're in the good mood. Mood for a good hike. All joking aside, if the temple has the answer that I'm looking for, we can finally leave this damn island and go home. Thank you all for sticking with me. Harry. Fill with all that, huh? Okay. <clears throat> So this is the reason the ship was scavenged. Frank, if we want to enter the temple on the mountaintop, we'll have to reproduce the effects of the organ somehow. I know we weren't planning on this, but we'll have to build a we'll have to build a machine with whatever we can lay our hands on for the Lady Shannon. Do you think you can do that, Harry? What kind of machine were you building? What kind of machine were you building? All right. Blowtorch. Looks like it's been used a lot. A little bit. Harry isn't usually very chummy, but he really seems to like Frank. Frank, great idea. We'll move the materials we need to the summit so we can set up camp there. Just another thing. Please stop calling me Mr. Everhart. Call me Harry, as all my friends do. Yeah, Harry. Alright. Well, we got this wire that just leads off in this direction. Looks like we can cross this. The wire kind of keeps going, and then it goes up. A burned photo. I can't make out what's in it. Yeah, it's like a weird. I don't know. The wires run up the the side of the cliff there. I think there was a path up the cliff over this way. This is an interesting chapter. So like there's a lot of like different where ways to explore it seems in this one. When I get back home, I'm going to read up on engineering. <laughs> I've been interested in knowing how things work since I was a child, but I always thought technology wasn't for me. What nonsense. What nonsense indeed. This is huge. This is kind of crazy. Boxes and stuff. <clears throat> Huge stone door looks like an exit. How does it open? With the organ, right? Oh, and there's the giant symbol. This ornate structure certainly isn't natural, but not man made either. Well, then who made it? Uh, this feels ominous. Okay. Interesting. Another stone thing. Two. One. Oh, is this how the noises get made? It must be, right? It must be. How do we tell what the tide is at, though? Those symbols seem to indicate the height of the tide. So right now it's at the bottom one. Or it's at the middle one. Uh, this structure is magnificent, but I have no idea how it was built. The sounds are just mesmerizing like something from another world. Harry managed to activate the organ, which revealed something at the top of the mountain. Another temple, maybe, intended to build some sort of machine up there. I wish you'd have written down the levels from the... Maybe I should have written them down. Written them down? Not written them down. I'm sorry. English. 
must be Open. instructions Close. to operate this bizarre structure. Open and close. Tuning the organ by opening and closing the right tubes. Okay. That changed the tide level? Maybe? No. No, it did not. This is like opening and closing this, which is interesting, but why? Do we have a moon? We don't have a moon. Open it all the way. Let all the light come out. So that one's open as well. So is that one. Ah, oh, no shortcut here? Maybe we make one. I, yeah, I really wish you'd have wrote down what to do, you know? Like what was associated with the tides. Because I am a little, a little lost at the moment, not going to lie. Just a little bit, though. I've still got the ship to explore, and then I'm gonna go write that stuff down myself from the little like slideshow. Storms. When I was a child, I used to cover myself with the sheets to not listen to the noise of thunder. I honestly doubt I'd like to cover myself with anything in here. Time to overcome my fears, I guess. Yeah, this is about the time you just get over it, because there, they, there, are lots of storms gonna be happening. Doesn't look like it's letting up anytime soon either. So. Back into the ship we go. Plenty to explore. Cause there's like still that like that hallway that I hadn't been down yet. I don't know how much of the ship they actually give you access to, but I mean this ship is huge, so we'll see, I guess. As we climb up this agonizingly slow ladder. We can do it. There we go. Good job. And we're up. Okay. Through this doorway now. That voice. Is that Harry? No. Just a recording. Turn it off before I heard it. So we don't have to hear it over and over. <laughs> we'll turn it back on before we leave. You never know, man. Maybe maybe it's still calling for help. And I was completely covered in that black goo. Everything on this rotten island has something to do. To has something to do with that damn black ooze in one way or another. Even Dr. DeWitt's irrational behavior seems to be related to getting to his exposure. That awful liquid. Black Ooze's properties are perplexing. Black Ooze test changes consistency, levitates when exposed to different vibration frequencies. And he's trying all the different frequencies. These knobs must control the vibrations inside this chamber. Yeah. So... It's like we're trying to make them even or something. But no, we're supposed to make them where they get green. So that one's green there. That one's green there.
I'm really bad at these kind of puzzles, by the way, guys. Just so you know. Okay, so we're even now. So bad at these puzzles. Tilt. So this one moves one and two. This one moves, or this one, that one moves one, this one moves one. And, first one moves one and two, this one moves one and three. Disregard. So if we can keep these even somehow. We need to be about that much apart. Um, Almost. If we can keep, if we can keep those even. Okay, let's try to keep these even, while slowly picking these ones up. And sorry if you can't hear me very well right now. I'm, I'm thinking, and so I've leaned back in my chair. Better write down those there numbers in my journal. Yes, please do. 262, 349. So 262 is 1, 349 is 4, and 415 is 6. But also, I thought I heard Harry's voice, but turned out to be a call for help from that he left from broadcasting from the ship. I wonder if anyone responded. Harry discovered that the black gunk might have different applications, but ooze reacts to different sound frequencies, and some of it can even be made float in the air. Do the inhabitants of the island know what to do? Maybe the legend is more real than it seems. On the island of Panope, there's a city called Non Madal that's composed entirely of large basalt structures. Legend has it the city was built with floating stones moved by black magic. What were you looking for in the heart of the <clears throat> island? I was thinking this expedition had failed and was worried uh, we about how we'd get back home, but then I found these stairs that led me to the giant stone organ. Might be another way to get to the very heart of the island, and in any case, there's nothing we can do until someone hears a distress call. Apparently, Harry's expedition waited for a long time to be rescued. Did they give up hope? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 32 days. 32 days. Frank is certainly a resourceful man. I've wired up your message to the radio like you asked Mr. Everhart. I'll keep broadcasting as long as the ship's got full fuel. God help us. And some books. Even the crew of the ship that <clears throat> brought Harry's expedition to this island were afraid of it. June 30th, 1934, 8.25 a.m. We discovered the six members of the Everhart expedition to the island without incident. We'll come back to pick them up again in three weeks. If there's anything left to pick them up by. 12.40 p.m. Left the island after lunch. No incidents. 12, or July 31st, 6 a.m. The area nearby seems adequate for whaling. We might get a good catch. Hmm. This is the captain's last entry. July 14th, 10.25 a.m. Good weather and clear sailing until a surprise undercurrent shook the ship. I haven't seen the sea this rough in years. 17.25 p.m. First mate swears he saw a huge sea creature near a hole shortly afterwards. Definitely not a whale. Hmm. The ship was whaling not far from here. Tahiti whales. Yeah. It was. 
Well, guys, it looks like that's going to be the end of this episode of Call of the Sea. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. It helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace!